do please interrupt me if I call it brawn and not brown. I'm gonna try my best. After a candid live chat with Benjamin Wilson from Brown, it got me thinking about what repairability could mean for designers and customers, and how repairing is always better than buying new. Uh, my name is Benjamin Wilson, originally born and bred in Melbourne, Australia. I've been living in Europe now for 20 years, and most of those 20 years I've been working as an industrial designer at the uh, company called Brown. I've decided to make this YouTube video and dive into the question. When should you upgrade to a new piece of tech? There are many interpretations of sustainability, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Before I say any more, I need to mention that Brown is partnering with me in this video, and they've sent me two shavers to try out, the S5 and the S7. But I want to make it crystal clear that everything I say is my own opinion, and they don't get a say in what I say. What first struck me about Benjamin's chat is how ingrained sustainability is within Brown. Sustainable isn't just a buzzword that the PR department is throwing around to try and sell more products. One woman sent us about six, seven years ago a letter saying thank you for the 60 years of, of me baking cakes with this cake baking machine, like a big mix of things she got for her wedding. And she literally sent us a photo of the cake she made for her 60th wedding anniversary. Brown's repair service at service.brown.com covers up to 10 years of use for some products, but their repair ethos isn't new. It all started in Frankfurt in 1921. Happy 100th birthday, Brown. Mechanic and engineer Max Brown founded a workshop. Since then, Brown has been adamant about launching repairable products. That's as simple as it gets. Why throw out a perfectly good product if one component breaks? If we can replace one component, then we can keep the product working for even longer. Even the first product Brown made was like a repair and, and uh, way of fixing a, a system. So there was a leather belt joining system where if a, if a leather belt broke or needed to be re renewed, a leather belt was, it was a drive belt in the factories back in those days. And uh, Max Brown developed uh, a very, very simple way of cutting and repairing and rejoining those, those uh, leather belts in a very efficient manner. Then in 1955, along came Dieter Rams. Dieter spearheaded a surge in design awards and accolades for the company in the 1950s. He's a designer that I was lucky enough to meet at the Vitsu store opening in London, and many designers look up to him for championing sustainable design to help the environment. I'll spare you reeling off the 10 principles of design again, but I know that Braun strives to make products that are simple, useful, and built to last. That last bit, being built to last, means that being repairable and recyclable is a top priority. When you come to Kronberg, and again, we, we spoke about this, getting you to Kronberg as soon as possible yeah. to sort of, sort of show you behind the scenes, the dropping machines, the wetting, the spraying, the toothbrush soaking 24 hour machines, it's, it's, it's their job to try and break stuff before it breaks in people's homes. And I think that, that level of focus on making something very durable. Unfortunately, this ethos has not been adopted by too many companies. Instead, we're being driven into a cycle that expects us to upgrade our technology every year. An example I want to give is what we do with our old mobile phones. I'm willing to bet that at least half of you watching this has a drawer at home with old mobile phones that you thought you'd sell on, but never quite got around to it. The point is that companies can use those old mobiles to reclaim precious metals and materials needed to make new things. E-waste is a big issue, and we don't even realize how much we contribute. Well, 53.6 million tons of e-waste was generated in 2019, and only 17.4% was recycled. So what can we do to help? Brown's repair program for most of their products means that you don't need to buy a new product for up to 10 years. And their e-waste recycling program means that we can reclaim the materials that were already being used instead of mining new ones. That legacy has continued throughout the decades and the less but better mantra has never been more appropriate. The, the idea of a brown hautung. Now there's no word for this word hautung in, in English. It's basically, a, it's, a, it's a way of talking about a way of doing things. It's an approach. It's, it's a, a principle, a set of principles. It's, it's a, a way of thinking. But the word hautung means, it's, it's a way of, it's, hautung means um, 
having stance on something as well. So it's sort of it's a very, very big word in, in German. And, and in the brown haltung leads to a certain type of product and, and also helps enable that longevity through repairability or reusability, et cetera, et cetera. They're very durable product. In a world where fast fashion, fast technology, and Instagram has made it seem like we all need more and more, I genuinely think that society is ready to meet brown where they've been waiting for us all along. Exemplary products that do their jobs exceptionally well and do it for a long time. Brown has always spanned an extensive range of sectors, including kitchen appliances, clocks, and shavers. So the next time you need to upgrade to a new piece of tech, ask yourself, do you? If the answer is yes, just make sure that you're able, durable, repairable, and recyclable. Thank you so much to Brown for sending over the shavers and a huge thank you to Benjamin Wilson for chatting to me over on Instagram. That entire half an hour chat is on my IGTV, so go and check that out over there. Don't forget to let me know in the comments your thoughts about sustainability as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.